Hi folks, I want to share a tip on working with the contact map in the background of the section of the page here. Now how to change this map, what we'll do is we'll fire up Dreamweaver here and um, the index page here, contact map section, loads in the library components contact map LBI. So let's open that page up, library components contact map map LBI. Let's just double click that and all we really need to do to change what's displayed in the background in terms of uh, whereabouts of the map location is we need to change the longitude and latitude I'm going to show you a little trick to this okay and that is we fire up our Google Maps website okay punch in your address right here let's go Las Vegas what the heck okay so here we are Vegas is pulled up right here we go to the menu and, and this site changes all the time so you'll have to look around for the share or embed it might be a link it might be an icon it's it's in here somewhere so look for the share or embed map click on that right here the thing that pulls up first okay we're going to copy this information right here okay so that share link that comes up let's just copy that right because in this link there's the actual longitude and latitude which is what we need so now what we're going to do is right after the the latitude and longitude center right after this piece of grayed out information just paste okay and what we need here is you'll see two numbers and a comma and typically if you're in North America you'll get this negative number as the second number so that's the latitude so what we're looking for is the first number copy that and paste it over the first number right here the second number after the comma right so there's a comma right there and this one has a negative start off with that so we grab that and we paste it over top of that number there and that's it longitude and latitude okay um, or you can go to Google and, and type in your address and or longitude and latitude of and then type in your address and Google will pull that up for you that's another way of doing it I like to just grab it right from the Google Maps page because it's fast and easy and I'm on that page anyways trying to make sure I have the right you know place um, and that's it save to update